We're going to do something a little bit different this time. So, as you can see in the title, I'm doing reviews of two movies. So we have Inside Out 2 and we have Kung Fu Panda 4. Let's get into it. So on Thursday, June 13th, I finally saw Kung Fu Panda 4 for the first time. And I know the movie came out like three months ago. Don't blame me, okay? Just personal stuff got in the way, okay? But yeah, and especially this, this was definitely a big thing that, you know, contributed to the delay. But you know, I finally watched it and it was fine. Like, I wasn't impressed by anything, like, in the movie. I just, you know, I I think it just went with the flow of, you know, generic kids movie. It, 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 it very, it's very obviously the worst in the Kung Fu Panda series, but I don't think it was as bad as people made it out to be. Like, I saw so many videos of, like, oh, Kung Fu Panda 4 is so bad, it's such a bad film. I mean, to be fair, when I saw that the director of this movie is the same director who made Trolls, like, I'm not even kidding, it's literally the same director, I can see why that fact drove a lot of people off. But I didn't let that get to me. I mean, the, the Good Dinosaur and Elemental have the same director, so that says everything. But yeah, uh, let's just say this movie was just fine. I, I don't think it blew me away necessarily, but there were some scenes that I really just put did this for five seconds and then I just you know didn't I took it off after five seconds but you know it's it it's not really a big deal I don't know what to say of this movie I, I I'm just gonna give it a six out of ten because you know it didn't blew me away but it's just painfully mid and there's nothing to talk about with this so yeah my ranking of the Kung Fu Panda series is now Kung Fu Panda 1 is at the top Kung Fu Panda 3 is in second place. Kung Fu Panda 2 is just a very close third. And Kung Fu Panda 4 is the worst. Now, before there are some smart asses in my comment section going, Hey, wait a minute. Didn't you say you were going to do a video of watching all three Kung Fu Panda movies? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, roll the clip, Hudd, who's editing the video right now. Like, after three Kung Fu Panda movies, do we really need a fourth one? So stay tuned for a video where I watch all three Kung Fu Panda movies and make the conclusion of if we really need a fourth movie. That is actually one of my most popular YouTube shorts, but yeah, I did say that, and the video still hasn't come out yet. It's because I had a change of plan midway through, because, because of course at the time, I was you know still doing school, still very busy, but also I had a change midway through. I thought to myself, why not I finally watch this movie first, and then I will watch the three movies again, and you know, just see, you know, if it, if, if it was worth doing, because I'm pretty good at, you know, analyzing movies, like, on first viewing, and one of those times where that definitely happened was today on Friday, June 14th, the premiere day for Inside Out 2. Right off the bat, I'm just going to say, I love this movie. Do I think it's as good as the first one? I think it's on par. They're on par with each other. I feel like if you loved the first one, you're going to love the second one. I loved the new emotions. I did not realize anxiety, spoiler alert, was going to go rogue in this movie. She goes absolutely rogue. And let's just say me and my sister, and yeah, I took my sister with me to see the movie. You guys remember from the past, uh, my sister Matt was uh, in a lot of my videos. Go subscribe to her, by the way. I'll have a link to her channel in the description. We watched the movie together. She also really enjoyed it because Inside Out is her favorite Pixar movie. And she said that this was just as good. So yeah, she has her second favorite Pixar movie. So, you know, Matt, if you're watching this, leave a 10 out of 10 in the comments below. <laughs> But yeah, we both really enjoyed it, and I will say everything is set up and paid off in this movie, just like in the first one. I love it when there's a set up and payoff, like when it comes to everything. But yeah, I, I liked all the character dynamics. I, I thought every character was voiced brilliantly. I think, what was my favorite voice actor performance in both movies, I'll say? Well... In Kung Fu Panda 4, I think Jack Black still is the best by like a short margin because that that new like character that 
that Poe is with. I keep forgetting her name, and I forgot her voice actor. So you see, that's how you know it's generic. But what was the voice best voice actor performance in Inside Out Two? I'd probably have to go with Maya Hawk as Anxiety. She absolutely killed it. I feel like she was the best in this entire movie. Like I, I can't. I think she re re really shined, especially when she went rogue. Like I'm not gonna say exactly how, but you guys need to watch the movie because she Anxiety goes rogue in this movie. And let's just say we were shook. <laughs> But don't worry, it's all paid off in the end. So, yeah, those, those that that's my review of Inside Out 2. I give it a nine out of ten. Great movie. You need if you love the first one, you're going to love the second one. And yeah, that's that, that's my reviews of uh, the the two movies. Comment down below which one you preferred if you watched both of them. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.